What is up guys, Computer MD of Gilbert here, and in today's video, I'm going to update you on how to build a paid membership website in Wix. So most of you um, watching this video um, might know that I created a how to build a paid membership website in Wix, actually just like within the past month. However, um, I have reviewed that video and realized uh, after getting several comments, um, which I love the comments because it helps me create content like this to help fix whatever issue I didn't cover in that video. I've realized that I, I missed some information in there that might be um, pretty important to you guys. Uh, so I'm going to re-update you on today's how to build a paid membership website in Wix. Before we hop into that guys, um, wixmywebsite.com link in the description below if you have not yet got on the list for my weekly Wix tips um, I recommend you do so um, if you're learning to finish your current website or even start building your very first website in Wix this list is going to be beneficial I've already gotten emails back which I love letting me know how much this uh, email list has already helped them I even have people that I'm training one-on-one -on -one in a course right now um, that's going to be launched to you guys on April 3rd that started at this email list so um, guys it's excellent there's lots of opportunities by signing up for the list um, you'll get exclusive content that you won't get here on the channel so I recommend you go ahead and do so also if you not yet if you have not yet checked out Wix uh, talks my new podcast definitely go check that out our new podcast is up um, it is talking about email marketing um, so link in the description below for that um, that is about it guys let me show you how to build a paid membership website here in Wix so this is a different approach um, and I want you to first know that Wix still has to kind of fix this method and fix this approach to creating a paid membership website um, as they still have some updating to do However, we're going to ditch the traditional approach of adding a member login slash sign up button as I showed you in the last video. So in the last video, I showed you to go to add, go down to more and add a member login and get this little button right here. Now I'm telling you we're going to ditch this approach. So we're going to X that out. And instead, what we're going to do is we're going to go add a page um, and this page we will call it purchase. Okay, so on this page, you're going to um, use a PayPal button. Now, I'm going to show you how to set up the PayPal button in just a second, but it'll be a PayPal buy now button. So essentially, what this page will be right here is it will be the purchase page for your member, uh, your membership site. So this will be your sales page. This will try to sell someone into buying the membership for your website. The important thing here is the PayPal buy now button because that button is going to help us initially um, make the next move with this paid membership website so on here you'll ha obviously have all of your content um, you might even have a video um, and you might have some points however you design your sales page is completely up to you um, but this is going to try to sell your um, uh, visitor into signing up for your subscription or your membership now, in my case, I'm just going to show you the back end, the functionality, how to make it all work. You guys design to your needs. What we then need to do is go to PayPal buy now button. You need to type that into Google. You then see buy now buttons PayPal. You're going to click that. Once you click that, you're going to see buttons for single purchase. Create your button now. You're going to click create your button now. And I know Wix has a PayPal button, but this one gives you complete control over what happens after the button is clicked as well. So this is why I'm having you do this one. In here, you'll choose, um, you'll go through and you'll set you know, your settings. So you have the option here, buy now button, or you also see subscriptions. So if your website uh, membership fee is a one-time fee, maybe it's a one-time buy now, you're a member, um, you would then click buy now. However, if you're doing like a monthly membership, they have to pay monthly, you're going to want the subscription model. Um, and that means that they'll pay every month um, for uh, your, um, your uh, membership. 
Um, but I'm just going to show you the method of the buy now button. The schematics and background is all the same when it comes down to it. Um, but yes. So in my case, I'll just say, you know, Wix my website course. Okay, that'll be my course. So you would put in your item name, your item ID, and then you would put in a price. Call it $5 and you're a member. That's, that's a pretty nice fee right there. A pretty nice, quick and easy fee. For only $5, you get to be a member for as long as you want on my course. So make sure you guys price stuff correctly, obviously, to your needs and stuff. Um, but once you have your price, you would then set your currency. Um, and then you see this customize button. So if you have like different levels uh, of membership or anything like that, you can add a dry, drop down menu. Um, so maybe you have uh, silver, gold, and platinum. So these are different membership levels. For each of these, you can set a price. So maybe your silver is $5, your gold is ten dollars and your platinum is fifteen dollars so then this gives the member or the visitor an uh, ability to choose which one of these they would like to join obviously each one's going to have different levels however um i need you guys to understand something by doing this uh what i'm about to show you becomes a whole bunch more difficult and gets escalated as wix's system is not completely where i want it as far as membership site and all of that so just be careful and you'll understand why this is difficult in just a second to add different levels um, on your website so then you would customize that to whatever you need whatever you need um, obviously if you have any shipping or tax rates but it's a membership site so you're not gonna have anything like that uh, I'm gonna have to go in here and log in quick to my email and then I'll show you the next thing um, you would need to input your PayPal email address right here uh, to actually receive payments, but if you have an account, just log in, and I'm gonna cut this part out and then hop right back into it. Okay, guys. Uh, so now you can see I signed in, um, and then uh, your uh, use my secure merchant account ID. This is probably what you want to click, uh, and then you'll see down here um, you'll see track inventory, profit and loss, uh, save button at PayPal. Um, so this is like this helps you save your button so that way if you ever want to duplicate it in the future you can duplicate it uh, this stuff you really don't have to worry about um, if you have like a number of members uh, you might want to track inventory um, track profit and loss again this stuff um, most likely since you're not selling physical goods uh, you're really not going to use any of this however this last part step three is very important um, to making this whole operation work uh, down here you'll see custom out check customized checkout pages uh, so do you want to let your customer change order quantities? You're going to select no probably because they're only going to buy one membership. Um, can your customer add special instructions to you, uh, in a message to you? Um, they can if you, that's up to you. Um, I'm just going to click no. Um, do you need your customer shipping address? Uh, chances are pretty good. The answer is no since it's an online only thing. These two boxes right here is where it gets really important to make sure you pay attention to this stuff this is this is important um, in particular this one so this one is take customers to this URL when they cancel their checkout so if you guys want to create like a little page saying oh um, we noticed you canceled your checkout or uh, can we offer you this or anything like that um, at, if they like X out of their checkout process and don't complete anything um, you could have them go to a certain page uh, PayPal will take them straight there uh, that's up to you if you guys want that page go ahead and do that and you would just put the link to that page there Now this one right here. This is the key to making this all happen Take customers to this URL when they finish checkout. Okay guys, so you're gonna select this on Now what this says is take customers to this URL when they finish checkout once your customer finishes the checkout process process and they buy your membership it this whatever link is in this uh, box here PayPal will redirect them to that link so What that link needs to be and this is where I told you guys a little different in the last video before I just said link it back to um, Your members home page and then make it a member only page. I'm changing and rephrasing my verbiage What I recommend you do is you paste a link here to whatever page I mean you have to go into your website and create a page let me show you this real quick 
So you're now going to create another page. Okay. You create another page. Whoops. Didn't mean to click that. Um, once you create another page, this page will contain a password. So for everybody that buys your PayPal membership um, and your membership to your website from PayPal, it'll redirect them to this page. On this page, you should have a password. So let's just say, um, okay, so what you should have is you should have a title, you know, maybe thanks for subscribing, um, and then have uh, maybe a little box, um, whatever, we'll just do this. Maybe change the opacity on it. Uh, I'll show you how to customize it. Um, make the fill color nothing. Um, we'll change the corners, uh, the border to be white. We want the width to be two. Okay, so now we have a little box. In this box, you should input some text. That text should contain your password. So you should have maybe a small heading in here. Uh, maybe your password is, I'm just going to make something up day, month, year, make sure you put all the capitals, all the lowercase, all that. Okay. So hopefully you guys are all following along here. So when, when they check out at PayPal, it'll direct them back to this page on this page, you will have a password. What I am proposing you do is instead of creating member only pages that you create password protected pages to do that, you would go into your page. You will just do this new page or we'll go into just a random page, this page, you go then go into permissions. And instead of members only, you would click password protect. And then you have to input what the password is to that page. Make sure this password in here correlates with this passport password right here. So we'll call it day, month, year. Okay. So bam, click off. It's set. It's day, month, year, all caps. Got it. So then once this password's in here, and in this case, I'd recommend you make it big. So your password's right there, day, month, year. So then now you have provided your, um, your, website, the people that purchased your uh, membership, the password from then make all of your member pages, what would be member only pages, make them password protected. And this, listen guys, I know this is a pain and this isn't the most easy way for your customer or your visitor. Um, but what I recommend you do is for every um, page you have for your members, you make it password protected um, and make sure they have this password password right here what you would guys what you guys would do is once you have this page design and I would explain it I would add a little paragraph right under um, your password or even above it uh, that says like hey um, this is your password to enter all of the member only pages uh, use this make sure you keep this safe and you remember this password write it down save it whatever you need to do once this page is designed and you guys have designed this page to how you want it to look and how you want to tell the, your members um, what this password is for, you then publish um, this page and then take the URL from this page and paste it into here. Once you do that, you would press create button and then you would come here, select the code, copy it, and then you'd go back to your purchase page. You would go to add, Go down to more, go to HTML code, double click it, input that code that PayPal gave you, and then bam, there's your PayPal buy now button. Once you have your PayPal buy now button, this is the button people will use to go ahead and uh, click buy their uh, membership. And then once they finish buying their membership, it will then redirect them to this page. This page will connect uh, or uh, use this page to um, show your members the password. This will inform your members that there will be a password needed for your membership pages. This is the password they will use to enter all of those pages. What you could also do is um, kind of create a separate menu, a members only menu um, with buttons. So what you could do is on your member only pages, create um, buttons and then make it so that uh, and you could go ahead and copy it, make it so that uh, only members 
can access these pages and what I mean by that is unless anybody signs up through PayPal and actually goes through this process what I would do is make sure this pass password is on your initial maybe members homepage in a way so create a pay a homepage for your members and then use these buttons and kind of create a secret menu within your members homepage so the only way you can actually access these other pages is by clicking the buttons on the members homepage and then obviously no one can get to the members homepage without getting the password and you can't get the password unless you buy the PayPal um, use PayPal and buy the membership so I hope this video helps you guys out um, I hope that is somewhat clear to you. I'm sure I'll probably still get some questions on this, which guys, that doesn't bother me in the slightest. I want you to ask me questions, but hopefully I was able to kind of confirm and show you the best method right now Wix has provided um, to make a membership site. You kind of have to use a little lipstick and rouge here um, to make this all work, and you have to add a bunch of elements as I've showed, well, not really, just PayPal. Um, but you kind of have to use some outside sources to make this all connect. I know it's a pain, but right now that is the best method to do this. Guys, as soon as Wix updates anything as far as paid membership, anything like that goes, I will be the first to tell you. I'll make a video about it, let you guys know. Um, but right now, this is the best method I would take. If you have any questions, do not hesitate to comment in the uh, comment section below. Um, uh, like this video if it helped you guys out. I appreciate the likes helps get the video out there helps the channel get out there subscribe if you have it uh, Wow, I'm all over the place subscribe for some more awesome Wix tutorials and guys I look forward to growing more with you and part of that growth is this Wix my link in the description below if you guys want more awesome tips go to Wix my and get on this weekly Wix tips email list I'm here to help you guys out if you're looking to finish your current website or start building your very first website in Wix, this list is only going to benefit you. Um, so go check it out. Thank you guys for spending a couple minutes with me. And hopefully I was able to bring some of you to the other side of this whole paid membership website in Wix. Thank you guys again. And I look forward to seeing you on the next one.